weird to say I'm not sure that's gonna be the opening I'll have to work on that but this is it hello YouTube uh, <laughs> I had the idea to start a YouTube channel over Christmas when I took two weeks off so I deleted all social media apps all work stuff for two weeks and it took an entire week for me to switch off which was quite terrifying and during that first week as I was trying to wind down and my fingers were still going for the apps where they usually were in my phone because I'd still got that memory reflex and I was still very much had work on the brain even though I was trying to wind down, had the idea for a YouTube channel. I have been putting way too much pressure on myself for my writing which is what I mainly do, that's what I want to do on my blog and Instagram and for magazines and fingers crossed one day a book as well but the more time that I made for that the more I said okay this is this is what you're doing now you're a, you're a writer capital W um, the more pressure I put on myself and the harder it got so I have been looking for something else creatively to take the pressure off my writing um, because I don't just want to write, and this is another struggle that I've had. I also really enjoy taking photos, working with brands, my blog, which is writing but a little bit different. And recently I've really been enjoying making films. So I was thinking about something else to do and I thought about doing a podcast again, but I really didn't want to do that. There's something about me sitting in front of a microphone and just talking that feels, I don't know, just not quite right. And I, I definitely don't want to be any kind of um, teacher or even expert. Like I, I've tried the course side of things creatively and it just doesn't sit very well with me. I just want to create. So I thought, well, I can do that and make films as well. And YouTube just, felt more me because I am such a visual person. So here we are. Um, I've been putting way too much effort into my Instagram stories lately. Way, way, way too much. Given that they disappear after 24 hours. So yeah, I just started thinking like, what's the point of putting all this time, effort and energy into Instagram stories when they're just gonna disappear? When I could maybe just put a little bit more effort in, stick everything together and put things on YouTube and then at least that way they're searchable and then my videos have a place to live. And you know there's, there's blog posts from, from years ago and little things that I like to talk about on my Instagram stories all about intentional living, simple living, creative living, just living the life that you want to live, not the one that you think you should be living. There's a lot of stuff that I talk about around that where I feel like if I can show you instead of tell you through video, I think that's quite an exciting thing to, to try. Um, I've got a lot to learn about making videos. I've learned a lot about photography over the last few years and I'm finally at a stage where I feel like I know my way around a camera and editing now. And there are things that I can bring into videography, but it is a whole different beast. So I am pretty much starting from scratch. I have a lot to learn, but I'm thinking that's okay. And that's, that's gonna be nice to have something new, something fresh. Uh, this moment in time, I am zero subscribers, zero views, zero thumbs up, zero thumbs down which is also something that worries you, you know, people that you know seeing this stuff that you create, people 
who may not like it, who have their opinions, which is just part of putting creative work out into the world, basically. But yeah, it's still, it's still a, a worry. But here I am, doing it anyway. I think, I think the hardest part of starting anything new, anything new that really matters to you, any big goal, any dream, any project, is that first step. It's taking that first step. Starting is the very hardest part. It was the same with starting my blog. Just getting that first post up there was the scariest one. It was the same when I started taking Instagram seriously. You know, curating a feed and worrying what everyone might think and trying out new things and failing, but just getting started was the most difficult part of it. And it was the same with big goals that I've had, like trying to qualify for Horse of the Year show, just saying it out loud, I'm doing this, and entering that first Horse of the Year show qualifier was the scariest thing. And then once that's over, because the first step is always gonna be the messiest, it's always gonna be the one that you look back on and laugh at and cringe at. Once that's over, we can all just move on with our lives and start to get a little bit better and enjoy the journey. So that's what, that was my thinking behind this first video. Just say hello, let you know what to expect and get that first cringeworthy, potentially awful first vlog out of the way so we can all move on and hopefully I can improve a little bit. My thinking for the channel is that it's gonna be a place for me to share films that I make that I feel passionate about, talking about things that I feel passionate about, sharing my own journey towards a more simplified, creative life, and sharing everything that I'm learning along the way as well. Hopefully, people are gonna watch, if not, then that's okay, as long as I'm enjoying it. That is my only aim for this at the minute. I don't have any big YouTube goals or anything like that. I just want to make some new kind of art that I'm proud of, that puts a little fire in my belly and maybe make some new friends along the way as well. So hopefully you're gonna stick with me for this journey and if you've been thinking about starting something scary, something new, all I can say is that this wasn't that bad. It's always the thought, it's always, always the thought of starting something new that is so much scarier than actually doing it. So I'm cheering for you if you're starting some new dream venture project, whatever it is, go for it. It would really, really help to support this channel if you could subscribe. If you could do that, that is very, very much appreciated, especially since I'm starting from the ground up. And I have got like six months of videos planned. I'm gonna try and do one a week, but we'll see how it goes. But I am open to video suggestions. So if you already follow my blog or if you follow me over on Instagram, and if you don't, I'll put the links in the bottom so you can come over and say hi and get to know each other a little bit better. If you've got any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments and that'll give me a lot to get creating. So thank you for watching. First YouTube video, over and out, it's all done now. <laughs> It really wasn't that bad. It's like an extended Instagram story. That's how I'm thinking of it. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.